Pelicans come into a Western Conference contest in this game. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan. Here with me today, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. You look at Golden State. Sitting at third in the West, there's no question this is a top-notch team. You know, for the Warriors, they've continued their breakout season. I mean, they've showed tremendous promise thus far, and I'm looking for big things from this team. Yeah, Clark, as the postseason approaches, there's plenty of optimism, but as you know, the playoffs are a whole different animal. We'll see if they can continue that momentum. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Gordon is the two with Evans playing small forward. Davis is out there with Z, and it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. Curry with some nice D. Andre Iguodala, a free agent going into last season. He showed a lot of patience, even letting more lucrative offers lapse as he held out for the slim chance that the Warriors could clear the space to sign him. On defense, Golden State. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Well, they were lucky it wasn't a blowout because they didn't put forth a very strong performance in that one. Yeah, they just couldn't find anything to work for them, Steve. No matter what approach they used, it was futile. Holiday gets the bucket. Now, good way to get things started here. Steve, always nice to get the first points up on the board. At least I felt that way. The New Orleans Pelicans come into this one after the win against Phoenix. And if you look at their numbers in that game, what jumps out most is the balance offensively. They really spread the wealth. And they were on fire in all areas. That was a very satisfying road win. That's good. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. Eric Gordon on the wing. Left side, Gordon. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Lee is screen on Holiday. And Thompson kicks to Azili. At the top of the key, Curry. Shoots the three. Curry with another miss. That's now four misses on their first five attempts. Still trying to find the rhythm and flow here offensively. Holiday dishes to Evans. The kick out to Holiday. And again, New Orleans with the triple. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. The Warriors have gone just one for five from the field to start the quarter. Lee sets a screen for Curry. Lee with the ball. And it's Gordon picking him up. Thompson misses. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, yes. then you're in big trouble. You know, how exciting is it, guys, to see him go hard to the basket like that? I love it. It's always fun to see, and it's one of the sights you can count on when he's out there, for right. sure. Yeah, but you've got to try to do more to slow him down. You can't play him so soft near the hoop. Now, here's Thompson. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. You know, he was getting foul time and again in that game, really delivering from the free throw line. Made a major contribution there. People knew that he could shoot the ball coming out of college, but I don't think teams knew that Klay Thompson would develop into the dead-eye shooter that he's become. He is a flat-out laser, and he can go to get into zones where he just doesn't miss whether he's open or well-guarded. And he's good on the second. And Steve with Clay, you know not every team thought of him as an elite shooter, or he wouldn't have gone as late as he did in the draft. But with his size, he has incredible range, and that has proved to be a factor in his play. Man, one thing he's been able to do with this last season is find ways to quicken that release. And now he can get that three off in the blink of an eye. He's a big, strong kid, and doesn't need much room at all to let it fly. So. What an incredible weapon to have on offense. No good from Z. Warriors trail by three. It's Iguodala with the drive to the inside. Evans with the steal. And Drew Holiday, the bucket on the assist by Eric Gordon. Gordon's got three assists in the game. Golden State's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Thompson against Gordon. From 18 feet away, and another basket for Golden State. Could be the first of many mid-range jump shots we see from him today. A chance here to check out the league's scoring leaders. You take a look at Thompson. 
third in the league. He typically dominates out there. It will. You know what, Kevin? If you can put up big numbers every game, you put your team in excellent position to win. There's no question about that. A guy like this is definitely one of the keys to having a successful offense. And the Pelicans with possession here. After the made shot from Clay Thompson, offensive rebound. I like the defense, guys, really getting a hand up and challenging shots. Yeah, Steve, lurking on that shot, and that was a tough one. Stolen. And here comes the break. Pass to Z. Back to Gordon. Six to shoot. To the inside. Here's Z. And that one is hammered home. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Warriors trail by five. Lee a screen on Holiday. Curry passes to Iguodala. Back to Curry. Shot on the wing. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Z's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. From 11 feet away. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Well, trade rumors circulated around Eric Gordon last season. Makes you wonder if there was some buyer's remorse from the Pelicans after they matched the Suns' four-year, almost $60 million offer sheet. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Spates checked in for Festus Azili. Green comes in for Lee. Brandon Rush, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. Here is Livingston. Thompson, left side. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Thompson's got five points so far. And for Eric Gordon guys who had expressed some dissatisfaction with the situation in New Orleans, rumors, in fact, existed of a rift last season with him and, and Coach Monty Williams. Well, that frequently happens on teams that are struggling like the Pelicans did last year. And, you know, that sometimes the contract can make a trade more difficult, so he may be stuck in New Orleans. And in the end, you just have to get healthy and deliver and, and make the best of, of whatever situation you're in. And so it's Golden State with it. And the Pelicans picked up three with their last shot. Green kicks to Rush. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Again, the miss by Thompson. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. Rivers passes to Z. Shot from 12. Another one falls for New Orleans. Now, I'll tell you what, they've been a step slow here early on. I agree with you. I mean, they're allowing too many open shots. They've seemed a little sluggish to me. Here is Livingston looking for his first basket still on this one. Outside, Green. Pass to Livingston. Let's it go with a three. And that one's good. That's like a layup for him. It's just wide open out there. Jimmer Fredette is checked in for Eric Gordon. Checking Check out Clay Thompson here. Last 10 games for him have been excellent. He's right around 25 points a night, four rebounds, and two assists. He's been at his most dynamic, no question about it. Almost impossible to handle. Yeah, I agree. Not the guy you want to have to go up against right now. I mean, who knows when he'll cool off. These runs of his can last a while. There's the bucket. Good. Eight points for Z. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Here is Livingston. Thompson inside the line. Again, the miss by Thompson. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. They set the pick. Rivers with it. Right now averaging seven points a game. Fredette, the pass to Z. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on Maurice Space. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. The, the Pelicans have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. That's good from Z. Two shots. And he can't hit the second. Warriors trail by 10. 
into green. Now the feed to Rush. Puts one up from 19. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Here's Hushik. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! Pretty shot without a second to spare. That can be so demoralizing for the team that gives up a shot like that to close out a quarter. Close game so far, but as the second quarter starts here, plenty of time for a comeback. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. And they're doing a fantastic job of finding the open man and getting easy looks. They've also gotten into a nice rhythm from the three-point line early on tonight. Draymond Green is out there with David Lee. Then there's Livingston. Then there's Maurice Spates. And it's Curry in at the point guard. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Now, here is Fredette. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Here's Curry. 14 points from him the last game against Atlanta. Kicks it to Livingston. Back to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. And Green gets it to go. Green going to miss many of those, if any. Not when he's got that much room. Pelicans leading by 11. A nice shot by Rivers. Rivers has got his first two points of the night. And you can feel the, the pattern of this game, guys. They're, they're working it inside, dominating in the paint, getting good shots at will. Well, four of their last five baskets, guys, have been of exactly that variety. And Green gets it to go. I'll tell you what, until this defense gets out and defends the three-point line, it's going to be a parade. Yeah, we've already seen three in a row from out there. Draymond Green last season slimmed down to about 230 pounds. Pretty remarkable how he's transformed his body since his freshman season at Michigan State. The shot's good from Z. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Here is Livingston. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Over to the wing. Curry dishes to Livingston. Six on the shot clock. Curry shot is off. Boy, even though he missed, you can't give up that kind of a look very often. Yeah, they're lucky that they didn't get burned on that one. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Andre Iguodala is perhaps the premier wing defender in the league. Dre himself said, I used to always joke with my coaches, I could play defense in my sleep. But it's not just natural ability, he said. There's another me in the league. They have the same things. Long arms, quick feet, and they can defend. They just choose not to do it. Kevin? It comes from within, Doris. Thank you. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Evans outside. Passes it to Z. 13 feet away. That's good. Z's got six points in the quarter. Well, offensively, he's taken a solid opening quarter and just built on it here in the second. Mazzilli's checked in for Golden State. Igudawa comes in for Sean Livingston. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Holiday comes in for Jimmer Fredette. Curry kicks to Azili. Outside Curry. Shot clock at six. Outside Green. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Igudala, and he drops that one in. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, Kevin. Monty Williams was just going over the plan with his team. He'd like them to concentrate on their transition game to keep the tempo fast and put pressure on the defense in the open court. Also, he was just as passionate when he told them that they needed to put everything they have into their offensive rebounding. So, Kevin, change is already being made on the fly here in the second quarter. Thanks, Doris. Here's Curry after the made shot from Andre Iguodala. 
Green, no luck. Now here is Holiday. He's got eight. There's the pass to Z. The kick out to Holiday. Another one falls for New Orleans. This is a tremendous solo run he's on. I mean, the kind we've seen him have so many times before. Well, it's been four years now since the new ownership group took over in Golden State, and I think they've got to be proud of how they've turned this organization around in a short time. Two straight trips to the playoffs. That actually equaled their total over the previous 20 seasons. And it's Iguodala missing. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. In the corner, it's Gordon. The three. The shot no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. And the Warrior Ownership Group bought the team for a then record $450 million back in 2010. But the team was recently valued, Steve, at $800 million. Well, some of that is winning. Some of that is the new CBA. But regardless, I mean, they've doubled their season ticket base to over 14000 And they've actually cut it off there. There's a waiting list now to buy a season ticket. And so that brings the first half to a close. Yep. Certainly good numbers from you shooting the ball in the first half. What has been your approach on offense? Same approach as always. Give me the ball, let me do my thing. Sometimes guys on our team or coach try to overthink things. It's simple. Just get the ball to your natural score. Make sure you don't trip on yourself when you're getting out the way. Slow and steady wins the race, Kev. All right, men, we've done a good job in the first half of taking the momentum and being a I got my moment. What a game we're seeing from Z. Just a pleasure to watch him play basketball. The way he sets up his teammates, his passing, his decision making, very impressive. Yeah, Steve, everything has been running through him, and he's doing a really nice job of racking up those assists. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five from Monty Williams. Backcourt, Holiday and Gordon. Evans and Davis are your small and power forwards. And it's Z at the five down low. Here's Thompson after the made shot from Z. Curry wide open and a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Such a solid performance for them inside. The rebounding has been terrific. Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. That's good. Evans has got the lead up to 14 now for New Orleans. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. Outside Curry. Inside. Azili gets the bucket. Azili's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, Maestro, he is so good at making those lead passes, like conducting an orchestra. Well, as you know, there are polls for just about everything in sports. Last year, Steph Curry was actually voted as the most trustworthy player in the league. Who's back up? It's rebounded by Golden State. Lee's got four rebounds in this game. Iguodala kicks to Lee. Back to Iguodala. Dishes it to Thompson. Lee left side. Curry a screen on Davis. Here's Lee. He can't get that one to fall. You talked about trust in Steph Curry. It, it seemed he was able to trust his ankles a bit more last year. Yeah, that had been a big concern. Repeated ankle sprains. Part of the reason the Warriors were able to sign him for such a bargain extension. But when healthy, clearly an all-star and all-league player. Now here's Lee. After the miss from Z. That's good. Thompson's got his third basket of the night right there. Boy, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. And here's Holiday, 13 points in the game. He dishes it to Gordon. He feeds it to Evans. Pass to Z. And low to Davis. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. You have to wonder, it's certainly worth thinking about with the way Anthony Davis took a big step forward last year. There's a legitimate argument, or discussion anyway, that he might eventually become the best player in the league at some point. 
And the ages add up, guys, in regards to Anthony Davis. You know, LeBron is going to be LeBron for a little while longer, but after that, there, there's going to be a short list. And Davis is right in the middle of it when you think about it. I mean, the ability to score down on the block and change team's game plan with his defense, the way he patrols the paint. I think he's got a, as good a shot as anybody at being the successor to LeBron's crown. And with a break in the action, let's now view the NBA assist leaders. Number one, Steph Curry. Tell you what, it's hard to argue with his status as the best passer in the NBA right now. Numbers are amazing. Left side, Curry. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Lee up top. Just five to shoot. Back to Curry. And there's the defensive three-second call. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Stephen Curry. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. It's early, but you can already make a case for Curry as one of the best shooters of all time. Really, it's a combination of his ability to hit shots, but also his ability to create his own shots. Very rare to have both those abilities. You know, that's one way he can finish, but not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Well, Z in the last matchup against the Suns played some outstanding basketball. He ended with 25 points, and in addition to his scoring, he also came away with a season high for rebounds. Just absolutely incredible numbers from him in a game you didn't want to miss. So glad we were here to watch it, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you. He played at a level that very few players are capable of playing, Clark. Yeah, I agree. I was just glad I got a chance to witness it. It's always such a special night when a player of his caliber gets so locked in and focused. And you know, in an 82-game season with so much talent, every once in a while, everything's going to click. And that was definitely the case that night. And if you do consider Curry to be the greatest shooter already, you're in good company. Last season, Kevin Durant Clark gave his opinion that Curry is already the best. Yeah, you know, this is going to be debated by people for a long time, and I don't know where the answer is going to land, but Curry definitely is in the equation already with his resume and record-breaking three-point shooting. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. And the jam by David Lee. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. A sensational run has them on the brink of tying it up or even taking the lead all of a sudden. Steve, quite a turn of events here. I mean, they really snapped in the focus in a hurry and tightened up their game at both ends. The Pelicans have taken 10 shots from the free throw line up to this point and made six of them. Well, pretty good numbers this season at the line for this club, right around 78% as a team. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. Now, here's Curry. Six points for him. Thompson with the bucket. And they're making this a game here, putting together a nice run. Making it a game. How about anybody's game? I mean, they've caught fire, and it's a toss-up right now, guys. Iguodala against Evans. Passes to Z. Nothing's going his way since the horn. I mean, looks like he used up all his makes in the last quarter. Curry passes to Thompson. Down low, deflects the pass. It's stolen by Davis. And now, here comes Gordon leading the break. Here's Evans. Iguodala with the block. And they're running. And here they go. No good. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. Their last encounter was in New Orleans. Well, they were extremely aggressive defensively early on in that last game, and it kind of backfired on them. Their starters wound up in foul trouble, and I thought that led to the loss. Here's Curry after the made shot from Z. Lee sets a screen for Curry. Back to Thompson. Five to shoot. Three-pointer. And the Warriors missing. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those boards. 
Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Thompson comes with a double team. Gordon picks up the loose ball, but he was in the backcourt. He'll give it up. Now for Stephen Curry, let's take a look at some of his numbers. First in assists, first in steals. And of course, he's been extremely accurate from the free throw line, ranking in the top five in the NBA in free throw percentage. And you know, you threw this, his number one assist ranking out there, Steve, and what's really impressive is that not only is he creative, but he's a willing passer. The guy wants to give it up, and he really makes it easy for his teammates to score because he's so good at giving them the ball in an ideal position. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Evans dishes to Rivers, and the pass to Z. New Orleans moving the ball around. Evans kicks to Rivers. Pass to Z. Feeds it to Rivers. Just three to shoot. The shot's good from Evans. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Warriors trail by eight. Livingston kicks to Green. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Draymond Green was the 35th pick back in 2012, and he's made an impact thus far. Good work. Good work. Oh, yeah, man. He helped you. It's go time. Check in. I'm on it. Pelicans leading by four. Evans outside. He kicks it to Anderson. To the inside. Here's Favarani. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And the Pelicans lead by six. Puts up a prayer. Shot is no good. Tune in next Wednesday night, March. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This was such a pretty pass, Kevin. A beautiful assist, and of course it turned into the easy basket, but uh, just a gorgeous play there. Warriors shooting around 40% from the floor here. On the wing, Thompson and Igud out. Azealia is out there with Maurice Spates, and it's Curry in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Loose defense at such a critical time. You're better off sending him to the line than giving him two points. Holiday attacking. Here's Z. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Tell you what, he has been wreaking havoc out there the last couple of games. Lee's checked in for the Warriors. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Davis has checked in. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Man, they keep piling up the assists, guys. Great ball movement. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. Gordon with it. Picked up by Thompson. There's a screen. Passes it to Z. Puts one up from 19. And he swishes it right through. Z's got nine points here in the second half. Wow, such a steady hand. He's the one responsible for getting them this late lead. Can't argue with that at all, Steve. His shooting percentage has been off the charts. Lee kicks to Curry. Another miss by Curry. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. And Holiday, here we go. Anderson passes to Gordon. Stolen by Thompson. Jumps up. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. Good aggressive finish on the break. That's as easy a two points as you could ask for. Outside Holiday. There's the dish to Anderson. There's a screen. Pass to Gordon. From the arc. 
Rebound by Iguodala. He slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. Thompson, that one fall, coming off Iguodala's feet. Iguodala's got his fourth assist in this one. Pelicans leading by five. Anderson a screen on Curry. Holiday dishes to Gordon. And the pass to Z. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Z's got seven points for the quarter. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. Curry kicks to Lee. Iguodala setting the pick for Lee. No luck. Oh, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Iguodala with a screen on Davis. Lee passes to Iguodala. No good. Davis with some nice D. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. They set the pick. Pass to Z. The kick out to Anderson. No good on the triple. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. And it's sent back by Anderson. Pelicans leading by 10. And Holiday kicks to Gordon. Puts it up from 12. It falls and two points from Z. Z's got 13 yes. points here in the second half alone. Warriors have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Tyreek Evans has checked in for the Pelicans. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, during that last week, I heard the Warriors coach as he addressed his team. He hasn't been happy with their shot selection. He told them, we're forcing things out there, guys. Space the floor, make the extra pass, work for the open shot in the flow of our offense. We'll see if they need that advice, Kevin. And thanks for that story, Doris. New Orleans gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're 6 of 13. Gordon dishes to Davis. Z the pass to Davis. Out to the wing. Lock at six. Gordon kicks to Holiday. And it's Curry with the rebound. Curry's got his fifth rebound in this one. And he gets it to go. Curry's got it back down to within single digits for the Warriors. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Uh, giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Curry brings the double. It's deflected. It's stolen by Curry. And here we go with Curry running it up the court. And he gets it to go. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Holiday dishes to Evans. Pass to Z. Curry brings the double. Outside Holiday. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Warriors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Now the feed to Thompson. Back to Curry. Kicks to Iguodala. Golden State moving it around. Here's Azili. Here's Lee. Azili the pass to Lee. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. You know, not really a significant margin in terms of them rebounding, but enough to get the job done. Yeah, I mean, it's helping them get the lead. And if they can continue to rebound like this, I think they're going to be in pretty good shape. Evans kicks to Gordon. Back to Evans. Six to shoot. To the middle. It's stolen by Curry. Iguodala dishes to Thompson. Iguodala setting the pick for Thompson. The three-pointer no good. 
Pelicans leading by six. Up the floor. Shot to stop the drought. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. So the first one drops and that makes it a seven point lead. They didn't shoot it well from the line in the first half. But they've turned it around here and it's helped them secure the lead. I mean, free throw shooting is important when you're trying to pad a lead. There's 154 left to play in the final quarter. And he gets the bucket. Thompson's got eight points here in this quarter. Despite the trouble he had in the first half, he stayed composed and focused, and now he's getting it going. We've got 148 left to play here in the fourth. Here's Z. Kicks it out to Evans. The pass to Z. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Talk about complete control. Everything working in this one for Z. 20 rebounds and some big time point production as well. Oh man, he is putting on a show. Well, it looks like he simply decided he's going to take care of business solo. And Thompson kicks to Curry. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Shooting for Golden State. Good on the first, and that narrows the gap to seven. Boy, they came out of the locker room at halftime with a much more physical disposition than they had in the first half. Sure helps that they've gotten extra trips to the foul line here in the second, and that has to continue if they're going to complete this comeback. Evans passes to Z. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. 32 points for Z. All the buckets he's poured in today have put them in a terrific position heading into the stretch. Thompson outside. Curry a screen on Gordon. Thompson with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Looking to get it going. Yep, it goes in. And Gordon Reed is put down now to just six on the basket from Lee. Just seems like they're finding an open lane of the hoop every time down. It's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Iguodala against Evans. In the corner, it's Gordon. All sorts of time. Shot misses. So Golden State will take it the other way. He has yet to get into the flow of this game. His teammates have done their part, but they need him to pick his game up. Thompson misses. New Orleans has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. And I think this is going to be too much to overcome, Clark. What do you think? All the sand in the hourglass is gone, and I agree with you. New Orleans gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're 6 of 13. Davis dishes to Holiday. Here's Z. And Lee pulls it down. And here is Iguodala. Picked him clean. Here's Z. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. So both teams changing it up here. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. So New Orleans wins it. Both teams played well, but these guys have the end. Tyreek, what was the focus on strategy for this team coming into tonight's game? We playing hard. You know, uh, you know, we had a meeting today as a team, and uh, we were just wanted to come in here and play hard with energy. You know, that's where it starts from. You know, and, uh, we did a great job that tonight. Tyreek, thank you. Kevin, amazing what can happen when you play hard.
Yo, yo, I go by the name.